I'm reviewing your options, okay? <laughs> My option is getting on a plane <laughs> and gonna be gone for 10 days. <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> this toothpaste is the last food I'm ever gonna have. In <laughs> That's probably true. That is not true. Cut okay. it out. Listen, there's pork chops down there. Okay. Just grill those puppies you up. Say there's fluff flops down there. <laughs> pork chops. Oh, okay. Pork chops. And then um and then there's chicken here. You just have to defrost it. Okay. And um I think you're gonna be okay. I think you should just go out to dinners. That, you, you, a copy. <laughs> Affirmative. Just as a bit of a recap, if you missed last episode, or I don't even know if I made the edit, but Trisha was flying to Phoenix for her wedding and her flight was canceled. Okay, so she did. I don't need to see, I don't need souvenirs, just food. You guys are gonna be free. Yeah. Well. Man, start praying. All right, things are gonna change around here, right? Things yeah. are gonna change. Things are gonna change. Here you go, Dad. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Oh what I had. But now she has a new flight going to Phoenix today. So we're gonna be dropping her off in a half hour. It's just Caleb and I mm -hmm. with a really big route to Michigan. Big. And we're checking off like two national parks possibly we've never been to and hitting four. This is like, this is good. But I wanted to share Caleb what the route is and with everyone else so that we can get on the road and drop Trisha off at the airport. Here, can you hold wait, this? Wait, wait. Okay, here we are in Bozeman. Tonight we're gonna be staying at a campground, a state park just outside of Devil's Tower. That's like a six and a half hour drive. So today's kind of a big day. Okay. And then from and then the next day we're gonna go down into Buffalo Ridge Camp Resort near Rushmore. And then we're gonna hit Mount Rushmore at night. We've done it during the day, but we're gonna see it at night, which I hear is really cool. Everyone was writing in saying you gotta see it at night. And then possibly we have time, if we're gonna make the time, we're gonna we're gonna leave Rushmore and we're gonna go down and do the wind cave so that we can scratch off another wind cave. Uh, National Park and then we'll go back out to the 90 and make all our way our way to Sioux Falls mm. There's a nice harvest host there. We stayed at before if it's available and then we'll make our way to Madison and then we'll queue up to take the ferry Oh across That'd be fun the lake. That's kind of the plan Well, I'm looking forward to it. All right, but for right now we got to get my the report Buckle up, Buttercup. This is going to be a heck of a 10 days for you. Yeah, and then and then the mold kind of dissolves away and you've got the magma in the middle. So that's what's happened there. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay. You could cut that up. I have some shredded carrots. Maybe a cucumber. I don't know. You could make a salad. <laughs> no, no. That's not happening. You ready, Charlie? Okay. We're hooking up to go. I cannot be any more excited to leave this campground. There's a freeway that, that's right there, and there's a train right here. We're sandwiched right in between. So when the train comes through at four in the morning and blasts its horn and wakes you up, then the freeway, its job is to keep you up. So the next time we're going into Bozeman, which we frequent, we're going to be staying at Bozeman Hot Springs. They had to write this down because I've said that before, but I forgot. Continue straight to stay on Gallatin Field Road, then turn left to stay on Gallatin Field Road. Oh, you think so? Send me off. Are yeah. you ready, ready? Well, I have to be ready. <laughs> My plane starts well, boarding in an hour. Oh, okay. But, well, I don't want to be rushed for a goodbye. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. So, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. The longest we've been apart in 25 years, three years. Yeah. No, that's okay. Just yeah. say goodbye to Charlie. I'm not, I'm wearing black. I'm not saying goodbye to Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, maybe I'll bring this for hiking. All right. Well, I'll fit it in there somehow. Okay. Bye All right. Guys. Goodbye. Love you. Love you too. Bye. We'll go up to the past.
I just want to say, Carson and I show up to the airport in 10 minutes, like a movie. And we even come a little bit late to skip the ads, you know what I mean? <laughs> you guys are like, all right, I'm two hours early, I'm already late. <laughs> We got a first class seat available now, man. We got a free premium upgrade. Well, based upon your your miles that you put in, you can well, I'll upgrade you. No cost, no cost. Ways and roads, the highway gold is in our hands. Rusted hope and city smoke, the violet lands. I feel it every now and then. using our TSD fuel card, which I've only received positive feedback about. We recommend uh, the fuel savings, but as you've heard me say it dozen times before, the fuel savings is only one piece of it, it's the safety for those that have diesel. Being able to pull into these truck lanes and not have to navigate cars darting around me or me having to back out of a tight situation. They were a little confusing to use the first time, so you gotta bring some patience the first time you use it, because you gotta like, you know, skip, and do you want additional products, and do you want DEF, and do you want tractor fuel? By the way, diesel here is called tractor fuel. So you gotta hit tractor, and do you want shower, do you want cash back, do you have a loyalty card? There, there's a lot of there's a lot of steps on the screen, but once you get accustomed to it, it's pretty simple. And then of course, you've heard me also say before, no dilly-dallying in the truck lanes. Once you get this done, as soon as you're done pumping, pull up to the yellow line so the guy behind you can go. And, uh, same with the cat scales. Download the app, make it simple, get weighed, move on. My options are ants on a log, which is kind of a complicated recipe. I don't know if I want to get into it right now. And um, omelet, which I don't really want to do that. Or um, chips and salsa, which doesn't sound like a great lunch. So I think we're gonna fast. That's usually my go-to meal. On a, when Trisha's gone, just not eat. That's always the best option. Let's see how Caleb feels about it. Hey, I got a couple options for you. Yeah. Got a couple of these bananas. Oh, wow. Um, we could fast. Fasting's actually healthy. It's good to do every once in a while. Really? We could do that. Uh -huh. Or uh, you could go inside and grab something to eat, like inside, inside Loves. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say inside the rig. Cause you literally like, you take the dog for a walk, I'll find us something to eat. Or your third option, you can go find yourself something to eat. Are you sitting on the plane? Yes, we're sitting on the on the runway. How long have you been sitting there? Yeah, well, I guess there's weather in Phoenix, so they were not allowed to leave. That's unbelievable. But you are gonna leave? I know. Well, right now they tell us we're gonna leave that the weather will move quickly, but that we're gonna leave for 45 minutes. Man, it has not been easy to get to Phoenix. into a site and uh, met Joe. He had a Summer to Remember shirt on from a couple years ago. Hoodie. From He's from New Mexico. And he told me, Joe told me, that I didn't need to disconnect. That I can stay right here and we can hike from right here and go all the way out maybe add another mile. And uh, there's a visitor center, a stamp that I can get for Trish. And I can go check out the whole thing without disconnecting. We're going to pull through site. I just need to come up 0.75 inches. Pretty good. So I'm gonna get set up, put the camera down, figure out what we're gonna do for dinner, and Caleb's probably gonna get Starlink out. So far, so good, except for Trish. I don't know if you're following 
what's happening, but she's now stuck in Denver. Ugh. Hi. Hi. Any update? No, I'm just sitting in the airport. Ah, oh, it's so terrible. It is really, actually. Oh my gosh. Because all the planes that are supposed to be landing in Phoenix have been put on a hold. Uh huh. So they're all just circling in the air. Uh huh. So I guess the fortunate part is because if they have to keep circling, they're going to have to go land somewhere else. They'll got to go land somewhere else. That's worse than not leaving Denver. Right. Well, I know you already missed the wedding, but like when's Tori's thing? Is it tomorrow or the Friday or the 5th? What are you doing? What are you doing in there, Charlie boy? Hey, Charlie, I hate to say it. They don't, there are no dogs allowed on the trail. Charlie. 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 <laughs> okay. Ah, there it is, right there. Yes. Passport book. New battery. Okay, so our campground was right here on Loop A. We went up this trail, now we're right here. 1.3 miles to the visitor center. Boop. We'll get our stamp. We'll go around 1.3 miles. So yeah, I guess you're right. I guess we got a little three, three mile little hike here. This is called a prairie dog. Though, don't we fool by its name, these dogs require not to be walked or fed like your canine at home. Rather, these dogs are known for one thing, digging. And they're quite good at it. Prairie dogs are named for their habitat and warning call, which is said to sound similar to a dog's bark. Clearly, the person that came up with this conclusion has actually never heard a dog bark. That said bark alerts other prairie dogs of potential threats such as hawks, coyotes, and even the human. Hey, I just want to give you a heads up. You haven't paid rent yet, and uh, that's due by Friday. And they escape into the ground through an elaborate and impressive set of tunnels interweaving together, each with their own purpose used for nurseries, sleeping, and even a bathroom. These tunnels are designed to have air flow through them, providing ventilation that is facilitated by the angle of the mound at the top to utilize prevailing winds. There is much debate over whether this alert system of the prairie dog is selfish or altruistic. One might question the social life of people engaged in such a debate. Regardless, these are fascinating little rodents. And if you have time to visit Devil's Tower, take a minute to observe these unique animals. Uh, we just went into the visitor center with Trisha's book. And a lot of people have been asking where to get this. And I mentioned that you can get them online, but at the visitor center with the has a gift shop, you can get them for $12.95, which is pretty good. And I also got Trisha a stamp for it. And I got her a whole stamp booklet so that for like parks that we've already been to that we're not gonna go back, she can put the stamp in there. A little surprise for Trisha when she gets home. All right, let's find where we go. And let's go over to the stamp and then let's go hike. No, 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 that's where the stamp goes. Right. Right. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, that was a little hard. See, that's yeah. why you always got to do a practice one. Uh-huh. I'll tell you, every time we do this, we make a mistake. <laughs> it's true. That's 
this boulder field. Isn't that neat? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, man. That is really slick how they did that. Look at those lines, though. It looks like architecture. Didn't it, though? Yeah, and look, you can kind of see where it snaps off, too. Yeah, they said they haven't. It's unknown when the last pipe has broken off. Devil's Tower was actually the first national monument in the United States, established in 1906 by, you guessed it, Theodore Roosevelt. It's a massive rock formation and visible for miles around as it sits 900 feet tall. Devil's Tower looks like geological art. It was formed by magma underground and became visible through erosion. As it cooled, a series of hexagon-shaped columns were formed. Devil's Tower is easily paired with Mount Rushmore, and it's worth the visit. You could make it a stop along the way, but if you get a sight at the campground, it is a perfect overnight. There's a walking path that goes around the monument, so keep an eye out for rock climbers. And don't forget to smell the trees. Caleb thinks I'm lying to him. This tree smells like honey. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh wow. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. 50 bucks if I'm lying. Over there, son. <laughs> smells like granola. Granola, smell right here. It smells like butterscotch. <laughs> the card is full on this, so I can't use it anymore. So it's to the iPhone, which I don't love. But uh, I pretty much captured everything I went to here today. I just wanted to say that Caleb and I have been sniffing these trees. And I know that sounds weird, but they smell like, um, they smell like, uh, one person said caramel, but I think they smell like butterscotch, like those yellow butterscotch candies. And if you find the trees that are lighter color like this, I think they smell more than some of the other trees. So we hiked around here, and it's really, it's really a cool hike. It's paved all the way, as you can see, and it goes around the tower, and I think it's really cool. was a nice little park really really nice and it was really great that it didn't have to disconnect to go to Devil's Tower but it was a it was a hike the 1.43 miles to get up to the visitor center was steep you should know but if you do like hiking it was awesome it was a hour and 49 minutes it's nothing it's all enough. right so I tried to explain to Caleb that the way that the super duty first class works is there are no pillows and blankets I'm tired. I in want the to first class seating. These are items that are used and usually, to improve the quality of economy seating. Okay, actually I don't even I don't even use I you normally I know, what's up with the pillows and blankets, man? I'm tired. It's, I'm tired. I want someone to rest on. Why are you tired? Dude? You slept a good eight hours. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Wyoming right. 110 East. Buffalo Ridge, 49 at night for a full hookup site. I don't know if that's a shoulder season rate because this seems like a pretty nice RV resort. Pool, hot tub, teepees. What more could you ask for? That's it. We're all set up. I got the Blackstone out. Got our camping chair, solo stove, 
Charlie's pretty excited because he wants the sticks, the, the starting sticks that I have inside the solo stove. And uh, weather's starting to turn just awesome. So we're gonna just kind of hang out, cook a little pork chop, pork chops, and out sauce. Man, I'm kind of bummed I can't show you, show off Trisha's new shaker lids. Just grilling some pork chops with the bourbon barbecue, Trisha's bourbon barbecue. Caleb's in there making some, uh, I don't know, rice and some other things that Trish told me we had earlier. Enjoying a little fire. I'd say things are going pretty well for uh, night two. <laughs> Charlie, what are you doing down there, Charlie? What are you doing? This father-son trip continues next week as the boys squeeze through the tunnel at Needles Highway and Mark surprises Caleb with some adventure as they visit Mount Rushmore. The KYD hat is back starting next week with some classics and some new surprises. We could only get our hands on a limited quantity this year so be sure to hop on our email list so you know the moment the site is live. We're glad you're here, appreciate your support, and enjoy hanging out with you every Sunday. <laughs>